Hello everyone, welcome to Study Automation. Today we are going to learn a new programming language that is called Ballerina. Ballerina is an open source programming language for the cloud and for the data where we need basically data from the network service or from any other places. So Ballerina is a new programming language for that where you need APIs to create consume database. Nowadays we can see we have lots of good front-end frameworks but for the back-end what we do we mostly do API creation and that particular thing that kind of problem Ballerina will solve whether you can consume any API you can write very basic uh, code without knowing deep right and then you will get a very good design network design diagram where you can see what exactly you are trying to do with this program along with that you can work with data you can create restful apis you can use rbc api graphql api kafka consumer producer working with database you can do anything that you want so basically ballerina helps in cloud where we need network primitives in the language that make it make it simple to write service flexible type a structural program type that it supports openness data oriented so type safe declarative processing of json xml and tabulator data with language integration query then we have graphical representation of the program concurrent where we can execute multiple concurrent services together so these all benefits that we have with the new programming language called ballerina now if you will see here the you can you can learn ballerina by seeing the program so let's say if i'll open hello world so you can see how we can write hello world program in ballerina you have to just import ballerina io and write public function main io.println and once you will run in visual studio or maybe in command prompt you have to run bell run hello world.bell and then you will get output here similarly you can do variable data types all the things you can see from here so you can learn um, by example and they have very good example how you can create conditions how you can do functions and all so let's say for each statement here we can see inside main function we have created one another function sum and we are passing this array now we have the sum function which is basically doing here a calculation through for for each loop and then returning the value so we are just printing it you can see how it is easy to write program in ballerina and they have very good community and a very good community that we can say for the help and if you want to install ballerina in visual studio code just type ballerina plugin inside visual studio extension and then you will see the feature of the ballerina but before that you have to download ballerina once you will click from here as per your system mac linux or window you have to download it and install in your system as usually we do for the compilation related things after downloading you have to install visual studio code extension and uh, then save file with dot bell and write your program so once you will write your first program and run it you will see it will show you the class diagram as well so how uh, flow diagram basically and then you will get the output so it will be easy to understand any any other person can understand what you are trying to do how data will flow so it's basically we can say this uh, this is this programming language is data oriented programming language and it's easy to understand so 
you can consider the new programming language and um, for the development where you need data related things so we have here network specific interaction data specific interaction so ballerina aims to be a uh, pragmatic as problem by taking cues from existing pattern used in programming so we can see here how we can you know, send mail and all related things so whatever net things we can do with within the network that all things we can do we can play with data and all flexibility we have so i'll share these links with you and then you can just go through this is just an introduction of a new programming language which is called ballerina where you can see and learn how and and, and comment back whether you like it or not thank you so much for watching the video